Hello YouTube and welcome to another visualization uh, tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to export and import Hyper-V virtual machines. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here I'm running Hyper-V manager okay and it's connected to my Hyper-V core server okay and as you can see here it's running actually two virtual machines I have here a Windows 7 uh, machine virtual machine and also an Ubuntu server okay so let's try in this example for example to uh, export this Windows 7 virtual machine okay so first of all let me connect to it so I'll right click and connect to this virtual machine Okay, so you see here we go, we are connected to this virtual machine. It has in the desktop actually a folder that contains this is a sample file, okay? So nothing here special. This is running virtual machine, okay? So I will try to export this uh, virtual machine and import it again, okay? So I will close this window here and for exporting it it's pretty simple all you have to do is actually to right click on this uh, virtual machine and go to the export menu okay but here for just uh, to try other things I will try to export it using this time not the Hyper-V manager but I will use the Windows Admin Center okay and we'll try to import it using Hyper-V Manager, okay? So let me go to my Harp, actually Windows Admin Center. So this is the Windows Admin Center. As you have seen on the last video, we have installed it and we connected to our uh, Hyper-V server core, okay? So let's go here to see our virtual machines. Here we go. okay so you now you can see that I have actually as you have seen on Hyper-V I have two virtual machine running okay so we'll be using as I told you Windows Admin Center in order to export actually this uh, Windows 7 machine okay so I'll just select it Windows 7 virtual machine I will go to there's more then uh, manage then here you can see that I have a lot of options and one of them is to export this virtual machine so I will hit this menu here export okay so now I have to choose the folder to export the virtual machine okay so if you are on a domain you can actually export it to a network share or another uh, server if you want but here I will just uh, actually export it to a local folder in our server core so I will browse here my uh, Windows Server Core. So you see I'm on the C drive here. And I go deeper, you can see that I can actually choose here a folder called the backups. So I'll choose this folder backups in order to backup my virtual machine. Okay. So here we go, you can see that the folder is selected. So all what we have to do now is to hit the button export. Okay, and here if you go to the this icon here notification you can see that the export actually is running okay so we will wait for the export to finish then we will use Hyper-V manager in order to import the virtual machine okay but before that we can actually check this folder to see if it's really contains something okay okay so you can see that uh, the export is actually successful okay so I'll close this window and now let's actually go to this uh, Hyper-V server core and see if indeed it has copied something into the folder backup so I will use my run uh, window 
and here is the IP address of my Windows core server so I will hit OK and you see that I have now the C drive and inside it there is the folder that we have chosen to export our virtual machine if we go into it you can see that it has created a folder with the machine virtual machine host name and inside it we have a couple of other folders we have snapshots so actually it's empty because we didn't do any snapshot for our virtual machine we have another folder virtual hard disks okay it has actually the virtual hard disk for our virtual machine and it has a size of about five megabytes okay and finally we have a virtual machines folder which contains actually some configuration files for our virtual machine okay so now we have actually checked the content of this backup folder okay so now as i told you we used the windows admin center to export let's now use windows hyper-v manager in order to import this virtual machine okay here we go so this is our uh, hyper-v manager so we let's uh, actually simulate that uh, actually this machine has been deleted or it has something that not working so i will uh, actually turn it off or actually yes it's now as you can see it's turned off and we're gonna simply delete this virtual machine okay and here you go you can see that uh, the windows server or actually windows 7 virtual machine has gone so there is only our ubuntu server that is running okay so now we will use hyper v manager in order to restore the deleted virtual machine okay so for that you can just right click on this hyper v manager or server actually and import the virtual machine so i will choose here import virtual machine and of course we get a wizard so we have to follow okay now we have to choose the folder containing the virtual machine to import so remember we put it in the c drive in a folder called backup so i will go to this backup folder and i will choose it here we go next so actually we, i guess we have to go deeper to this windows 7 folder here we go so now it has actually detected the virtual machine to import and here it also has de detected the date of creation of this actually import okay so i will choose windows 7 i will go next and here is actually the type of import to, to perform so we have to register the virtual machine in place use the existing unique id we restore the virtual machine use unique uh, existing unique id copy the virtual machine okay so we want to restore actually our previous virtual machine so we'll choose this option two so next so now the process has begun so of course here it will restore it to uh, the ori original uh, location but you can specify new or existing folder to store the virtual machines okay otherwise the wizard will import the file to the default hyper-v folder on this computer so i will keep it the default so i will go next so here let's choose this only this folder here vm here we go so we have everything now we need and we click finish and now the virtual machine is actually being restored to this original location okay now so as you 
can see here our Windows 7 virtual machine has been actually restored. Let's connect to it and start it. Here we go, let's start our virtual machine. And here we go, as you can see, the Windows 7 has been restored and we find actually the file that we have put on our desktop so everything is working okay it's running and it has all the parameters that we have configured before okay so that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to import or actually export a machine using windows admin center and import it using hyper-v manager as always i hope that has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye